Hey everybody, welcome back to another quick one minute video in today's guide I'm going to show you how to screen record on your Android device with no lag and very high quality You can even enable touches, you can record with no sound or just the media sound or media and your microphone And you will not need any third party app to do this So without further ado, let's jump right into it Alright everyone, we're currently on my Android phone So I'm going to first show you how to enable the screen recorder that came with your Android phone And then I'm going to show you how to locate the file just in case it doesn't save to your gallery to make it easy to access. I'm going to show you how to find it in your files. So all you're going to have to do, turn on your phone, scroll down from the very top, and then scroll down again to open up all your shortcuts. You might have a few options here, but you should see one that says screen recorder. Mine's in the bottom right-hand corner. Just launch that. And as you can see, we're uh, met with some sound setting options. You can either select none for no audio recording or just have the media without the microphone or the media with the microphone if you'd like to speak like I am doing now. There's also a toggle switch to enable uh, taps and touches, which really I recommend having turned on. It. it allows the person watching your video to see what you're selecting. Once you're ready, just select start recording. And as you can see, you're met up here and with this little uh, shortcut button box that allows you to see that the time is counting up it is recording there is a pause button a stop button or you can select this little arrow to move it out of the way once you're ready to uh, be done with your with your recording swipe over to open up this select stop and it should say uh, recording saved now I would jump into your gallery section first if it was successful in saving in your gallery, you should see a screen recording folder and they should be stored in here. Now, if they're not, you're going to have to go into the files of your phone. So you're going to want to scroll over to your Samsung folder. Unless you moved it out of the Samsung folder, it is probably located here. There is a My Files uh, folder. Open that. And as you can see, these are the most recent files that were saved to your phone, or recent video files that were saved to your phone. So, hope you found this video informative. If you did, please hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.